guys this year. Did you guys end up doing that? And if so, you know, how do you feel about what you guys did today? Um, I mean, we we just came out and played hard. There, we still have a bunch of stuff in our uh, our back pocket that we didn't have to show. <clears throat> I mean, they're running the ball a lot, so we're not going to get into a bunch of blitzes and stuff. And, run plays because it'll just get you out of position. But uh, I mean, they had a touchdown run. We we're in a blitz and we shouldn't have been, but uh, we didn't execute it. But uh, yeah, we still got a bunch of stuff coming soon. So, but we're in some new stuff. Okay. Um, job's not done, obviously, but what type of statement or what did you guys kind of find out about yourself being able to slow down an offense like this? Um, I think it was just a long time coming. I mean, wins like this, you just feel good because you put in so much work. Coaches put in so much time here. Players put in so much time here. Um, and then you win like that. It's just why you do it. I mean, packed house. Everyone's going nuts. Uh, you play well. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess you can say it's a statement. But uh, I mean, we got a huge game next weekend too uh, against the Kansas team. It hasn't been good in a long time, so they're trying to get at everybody. Uh, but yeah, it feels good. Johnny, what did, what does this mean for y'all's confidence moving forward? means for our comments, I mean, it, it feels good just knowing that you can show up early, you can show up. I mean, it was the early game time. We showed up, they didn't. Uh, it just means, I mean, we know we can play with anyone. They got a bunch of players. I think they're a bit overrated, not as good as people thought they were. I mean, if you think about it, they played Nebraska, who's not the best team, and then uh, lost to a Kansas State team. Other than that, didn't really play anybody. But it uh, feels good, like I said, to get a win. But, I mean, they're not the best team. We'll see. So... So how, how good was it to have Marcel back in the rotation? Oh, it's awesome. He's just such a, like, a jolt of energy. He, like, gets everyone around him hype, comes in, goes off on blitzes, gets great hits. Uh, he just gets everyone around him, like, juiced up. So having someone like that adding to the depth of the room again, we were really lacking that. Just we have, we have, like, five or six kids that can rotate in when we get tired, and he's one of them. He's probably the best one we have. So it's just awesome having him back. So, so you got dinged up early on. How long did it take you to get back? Uh, a little bit, like probably like 10, 15 minutes, but uh, nothing's wrong with me, so pretty good. You know, when a guy like Jamoy has that uh, targeting call in the first half, how does that change or impact the way you guys are, are running things up? I mean, it sucks he had that uh, targeting call because I feel like we were really playing well, and uh, I mean, Jamoy's a piece, so he's kind of like the, the anchor up there in the middle, but uh, I mean, it just gave us, I mean, Everyone just had to step up a little bit. We changed a little bit of positions. Everyone takes notes in meetings. Everyone's locked in during meetings. Everyone's locked in in practice. So it was just a next man up mentality. But we're all grateful that it was a first half target. And that was a long first half. Didn't feel like it, but it was nice. And uh, he'll be back next week. And he's a huge, huge part of our defense. How does it help y'all's defense when the offense just looks like they can do pretty much whatever they want to do? I mean, when the offense can do that, you basically don't even need a defense. If they can score 55 points in three quarters, pretty much. But uh, just helps your confidence. Gives you confidence to go run, run, dial things up, uh, get takeaways, strip stuff. And then just knowing that if you stop their offense, knowing you have an offense like the one we have, uh, you know, the game can get uh, out of reach really quick. So, I mean, it's really nice having that. You said you guys wanted to focus on the pass rush and practice this week, five sacks today. How much growth do you think you guys kind of show on that end? I think a lot. I think the defensive line definitely did a good job uh, winning one-on-one -on -one battles. Coach Gillespie put us in positions that would get them in a one-on-one -on -one rather than, like, double teamed. Marcel came in. And he's a freak at the pass rush. He, he really helped us out. And then just D and uh, myself just knowing when to kind of add on, get a nice sack, get a half sack. Uh, I mean, that's all the D line, just getting that quarterback all riled up. You could tell he didn't know what to do because the line was back there so fast. He couldn't get his reads. So it was they definitely stepped up. We got better at that. You know, the Big 12 seems like it's it's relatively wide open this year compared to years in the past. What's the ceiling for this team if you guys keep playing at this level? Um, I think we're just taking it one step at a time. I touched on it earlier this week, just gradually get playing better and better teams. Uh, and I think next week we're playing a better team than the one we played this week and the one last week and so forth. So it's just nice knowing that if we just keep going in this direction, uh, anything's possible. Like we can control what we can control. We just go play hard, have fun, and it uh, doesn't really matter who we play.